So in 21 years, what have you learned about Lexington's music taste? <laughs> Well, uh, it's very, uh, it's varied. Uh, there's really so many customers uh, for every different kind of music. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's a big base of people looking for just indie rock and the stuff that you hear on like WRFL. But then there's an older audience, and there's an audience that still likes the classic rock of the '70s. And there's a bluegrass and Americana audience, which is actually very strong here. So, you know, a lot of artists like Drive By Truckers or Jason Isbell or Sturgill Simpson, you know, there's there's a big fan base for that kind of thing. But I guess it's just it's just very varied, you know. Really, every type of music is represented. Is there an album that, if it comes to the counter, you're like, "This is my guy. I love this guy that he's buying this album." <laughs> Wow, that's that's a tough question just to, to pop at me there, but uh, <laughs> you know, a guy just just picked up a J.D. Crow bluegrass album a couple minutes ago, and uh, I've got that album at home. It's just one of the great albums of bluegrass music. And it's like, okay, if you're gonna have a bluegrass collection, you need this album. So, you know, that's the kind of thing I like to see when people pick up the classics or like Mutual Milk Hotel, uh, Airplane Over the Sea. It's such a foundational album uh, in in rock music that you know. If somebody picks that up, you know that they're they're serious about building a nice collection.